Historic Travels. Hello, Sam. He says, hey, did you see the images of the new ship uh, Disney just purchased? Disney likes to make um, its ships look traditional. Yeah. However, this ship looks cursed. No. I didn't know that. Oh, is that it? Oh. No. What is this? Global Dream? Global Dream? Six funnels? They're in pairs? He says, uh, no, that's it. The company went bankrupt and they bought the shell. Then they're going to make it look like that concept image. So they're going to give it six funnels. You know what? I kind of, I kind of like it. I don't know what to say. I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> it's so over the top. <laughs> it looks like fan art. This, this doesn't even look real. Wow. My goodness. Yeah. It's got a huge forehead. My God. Look at that. Wow. That forehead is bigger than mine. That is a ship right there. No joke. I Am Boat says, Mike, your six funnel passion is a crime. It looks cool. Come on. Look at that. Look at that. Andy Happy Guy, Mike liking ugly ships as always, Johan van Alden Barnevelt. What is this about? You serious? Come on! It looks cool, guys. You kidding? Are we looking at the same ship? Let's see if we can improve this. Let's see if we can improve this. Come on, let's let's fire up Photoshop. Let's see if we can get this looking a little more uh, a little more classic. I guess the first thing we need to do is get rid of this five head situation. So I'm gonna cut out the bridge. So we probably want that to be like the the highest point of the ship, right? Okay, so then we're just gonna really like roughly fill this in because I'm doing this, I'm doing this live. All right, we're just gonna like. I don't think this is gonna take much to, to look good, you know? Um, And then what we're gonna do is kind of like bring this down a bit. Gee, it still looks kind of, it still looks big. It still looks like it's got a, a forehead. Although it does look a little better. It kind of, look, now it just looks like Queen Mary 2 if Queen Mary 2 was a little different looking. All right, I think the funnels just need to be bigger. I think the trick is keep that after funnel there. This middle funnel just looks decorative, right? So we're just gonna get rid of that one. We're gonna not have them in pairs. <laughs> we're gonna put this one about Oh, I think they just need to be bigger as well. Like, whoop, not that big. We're gonna make them proportional. All right, then we're gonna put this one maybe about there, and this one there. Maybe shorten the, the superstructure after a little bit. I think that's looking a little better. It still looks a little janky. You'd want to have this whole thing here back, because I think the thing now is ships just have very short bow sections, and they they just look a little funny. Um, because they don't need all that space, but of course they just look a lot more elegant when they've got that nice sweeping bow. Now we're just going to move the funnels back a little. I'm going to put that one there, thereabouts. I'm going to put that one there. So, you know, if I could design a, a modern day cruise ship, that's kind of what I'd want it to look like. We've just tried to improve the, uh, the new Disney ship. Did we, what do you think guys? Did we, did we make it work? Do you like it better? Let's, uh, let's go back and get the, the original... <laughs> <laughs> Before, I don't know if I've improved it or ruined it, but uh, it just looks more sleek. It doesn't have the forehead anymore. <laughs> I like it. I kind of like it. We're going to name this ship. This is no longer a Disney ship. This is now an Ocean Liner Designs ship. Johan van Holland Barnevelt 2. Put that right. Right there. I'm going to get rid of the... Disney logo because now it's an Ocean Liner Designs ship. I'm going to continue the shear line here. There we go. Look at that. The Johan van Alden Barnevelt 2. Oh yeah, get rid of the Disney logo here. We don't, we, we improved your ship. Sam and I managed to raise two billion dollars and we've actually just bought your ship and uh, we've deleted the superstructure and we've named it the Johan van Alden Barnevelt 2. There you go. I think I think we've uh, I think we've improved it. I think it's better. Sammy says instead of Mickey Mouse heads on the funnels, it has Mike Brady heads. Oh, we could probably do that. There's a good little. Oh yeah, there's that's a good screenshot right there. Look at that. We'll use that one. I can't believe this part of the stream has got 420 listeners. Not the one where I'm actually talking about history. The one where I'm doing stupid, stupid things. All right, here we go. There we go. Look at that. I'm gonna blend it in a little bit. Oh, uh, I can't believe I'm actually doing this. This is ridiculous. There we go. 
What do you think? <clears throat> what am I doing? I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Such a good way to end the stream. <laughs> Really, this, this has got 420 listeners, not the, not the history stuff, this, this is what you want to see more of, is it? <laughs> Sam, historic travels, I've created a monster. This is your fault, Sam. <laughs> Disney's on the bow. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh, we missed one. We missed, we missed one guys. Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. We gotta, we gotta just. For any of you listening at home, um, who were looking forward to actual history, I'm really sorry, uh, that this has devolved into me messing around with. Photoshop. Uh, I am boat. So when will tickets for the ship be selling? Yeah. Uh, once I once the two billion dollars clears in the checking account, I'll let you know. Sam, if you could just PayPal me that two billion dollars, that'd be great. Amazing. So there you go, guys. Thanks for attending my uh, my ship building <laughs> my ship building seminar. I could, maybe these funnels. I might just do a little bit more work on this. You know, I think the funnels just have to blend in a little more. It's got to be a little bit more, a little bit more subtle. Okay. That's good. The stoned abbot says, this is, this is the super chat we'll end on because I can tell this is going to be hilarious. All right. He says, the crew of the light ship enjoy a quiet foggy shift when suddenly they see a huge bow bearing right down at them. The last thing most of them ever hear is, hello, it's Mike Brady from Ocean Liner Designs. <laughs> Well, guys, this has been fun. Um, I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. I'm sorry for unleashing this monstrosity upon you. Uh, it seemed like a good idea at the time, but if you've got a complaint to make, head on over to Historic Travels channel and uh, and complain to him in the comments because it wasn't my fault. I'm just going to end on uh, just going to end on that. What more is there to say? <laughs>